Yesterday, I came out of a hiding place, and uh, the assistant seemed to not be able to have time to eat. So we went looking for uh, a place. And then uh, we find a Vietnamese vegetarian restaurant. I saw a big monk coming, my four times my size, maybe three times. So I thought he, he has enough reserve and well taken care of, so I should not make offering to him. It's the first time I ever thought like that. Uh, he was eating with his maybe believer or disciple or maybe family. I thought he's well taken care of. And then I was thinking maybe I should give, but then when I thought already, he left, so I was uh, kind of scolding myself. I said, ah, how come you, Supreme Master, still so discriminate between <laughs> the skinny and the fat monk? You, you say you just offer to any monk. Okay, so he left already, and I don't know why somehow I didn't chase him, because he has also other people with him. And then so I sit there scolding myself like that. And then another nun come in. I say, next time, I say to myself, next time, no matter how big he is, <laughs> even eight times my size, I still will make offering. And then my, uh, my wish came true. Another monk come in. <laughs> oh, I thought, wow, how lingo, how effective my wish. <laughs> my <laughs> immediately came. And then I immediately make offering before my brain might interfere and make trouble. <laughs> so we should actually never make any discrimination like that, yeah? Hmm. But the Vietnamese restaurant was so good, my God. Ah, all the best. Tastes so good. I don't know if I ever have chance to bring you there to eat, but just listen to me and enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> the food in that Vietnamese restaurant is really good. And they're so clean and so nice and so sweet. The people, they finally realize who I am and then begin asking questions, so we run. <laughs> Nam Sagu, he was really something, huh? He did not practice uh, light and sour at that time, but he knows everything about it. That's, that's amazing. Uh, there's a uh, 他在他的上课的笔记里面就写着说老师告诉我们说要成功要做到下面五个字好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好好
这个很简单不？<笑>如果没有苦瓜就咖啡嘛，咖啡剩的吃下去就更苦。那样。啊，不用喝了，吃剩的才更苦。<笑>师傅嘛，他他叫那个学生啊，要爬一百尺那种竹根，有没有？然后他就天天爬了，嗯，天天不少叫他练习，到他能够爬到那个竹子，最竹根最高那个顶上才维持。啊，他说他说好，好回去。一个礼拜以后，他师傅问他，你能爬到哪里？他说三分之二了，师傅。我说你怎么这么快呢？一个礼拜就到三分之二，那个竹根不好爬呢。啊，那就到一个阶梯方了，<笑>爬到三分之二就就不能上了，因为还有，哎，没有阶梯这么高。哎呀，他师傅问怎么那么高呢？怎么能那么快？他说还有可以更快的，就是阶梯太短了一点。<笑> Our lives are governed by many things, not just the, the food we eat or the water we drink. The moon and star and all other planets also have influence on us. When we uh, are initiated to practice Quanning method, it's a little better, yeah? Only the celestial body that near us then can influence us some, yeah? But if we practice diligently, then only karma of the past and the, I mean in the karma that we have to pay in this lifetime can influence us, yeah? Other celestial body cannot, okay? But we still can be influenced by many things if we don't practice enough, even the food we eat. And if you are a master, that doesn't mean you're free from all the influence, it's not true. Even if the master is free from all the influence, from what he, she eat or do it's still the disciples uh, karma and disciples influence by other factors still can influence the master as well so many things we eat are making trouble for our lives as well uh, even the bathroom the toilet that we built in the wrong place also influence our marriage our business our relationship with uh, wives, kids, and outside friends. This is a, not a good place to be, this place, the planet. But it's a beautiful place to train yourself to be loving and kind, yeah? Because many, many beings who don't have good karma born into this kind of planet. And we are here if we have some power, meditating power, Blessing power, we can share it automatically or willingly, it depends. So if some things go wrong in the family, it doesn't always mean your wife doesn't love you or your husband doesn't love you. It could be influenced by other factors outside your house. Or sometimes even if you plant a tree in the wrong place, also have trouble for your business or your relationship. And sometimes you eat something. Mm, let me remember. <laughs> I know too many things, but I don't tell you because <laughs> if I tell you everything, you have nothing to eat. <laughs> and nothing to drink except water. <laughs> okay? Some, some are bad, worse influence. Some are just bad, some are benevolent, some okay. So even if we are vegans, we don't eat anything from the animals. We eat only, only plants and fruit. We still can have trouble from the food that we eat. Let me remember which one for the public. <laughs> some are just for me, okay? Some for everyone. Um, for example, the black grapes that you love so much. They are also not very favorable for your peace. It's not because uh, the, the juice or anything make you drunk, uh, the wine and all that. No, it's even the, the fresh grapes, the black one or the purple one. They will evoke some karma from the past life 
or from this lifetime, from your uh, previous enemies. It depends on what kind of enemies you have. It might not uh, invoke the enemy revenge or harming you if it's, if it's long, many lifetimes before, or some lifetime near to you, maybe five lifetimes before this life. If you were born here before and have some enmity with somebody, yeah, and if you eat that, that somebody, if he's here right now, in, on this planet with you same time, or if he somewhere still uh, uh, nearby the planet, yeah, maybe in astral level or something, then he can even uh, attack you without you knowing it. And your life suddenly become uh, chaotic or have problem with uh, your family or with your health. It depends on what kind of enemy you have. Some can attack your health, some can attack your family, some can attack your love life, or your children, anything would happen. And that's just one example. And I don't dare to tell you anymore. Because if I tell you, you will not eat anything. <laughs> even some vegetable, vegetable, even some vegetable fruit, something that you eat mostly every time with salad, it also can make trouble for you. But it's, it's a generally speaking only, you see? So I cannot dare not tell everyone. Because maybe you have enemy five lifetimes before, she doesn't. And if I happen to tell you, oh, if you eat this, your enemy will attack you, then she does not dare eat it also. But it has nothing to do with her. <laughs> her enemy maybe six lifetimes before. <laughs> or maybe five and a half. <laughs> you know, for example, even cucumber. Even many, are, just the cucumber is the thing you always snacks, you know, during the meal or before. And with salad, you know, being a master is more difficult because I have to avoid many things so they have better relationship with you. Otherwise, maybe half of the meditation hall will be empty <laughs> in one hour. <laughs> it's very difficult to live in this life, okay? Not just because you have bad feng shui only, yeah? Not only because you're married to a enemy zodiac sign, you know, like a tiger, monkey, or <laughs> monkey snake, or for example, you know, that's what I say. These are the people who, uh, you know, contradict each other, and no good. Not only because of that, or not only because your child is born in the sign that is uh, in, unfavorable to you, as a zodiac calculation. Not only that, in Chinese, as a uh, Fu Chi Ke, and the husband is Ke, the wife, meaning it's, it's not, uh, not compatible. Yeah, not compatible, but also harmful, for example, like that. Not only that, only many other things. And your stars, the stars in heaven that influence your life, that is governing your, some aspect of your life. And some fruit you eat, uh, anything at all, anything at all. It is a miracle that you can live in this life having less trouble. Nobody can say that he has no trouble. <laughs> okay? Small or big, we all have trouble in some way, you know? Sometimes suddenly you just get sick, you don't know why. Yeah, you say karma, yeah, but it may not be. It could be karma also that to make you eat that, <laughs> and then you have pain, yeah. Some fruit will give me sickness. And immediately, it's not for everybody, okay? It's not some of my favorite food I cannot eat even. For example, like, like a sukwa. The one that's a little long, yeah? And inside very smooth. We call it silk gurk in Chinese. Lufa Lufa? The one you make the sponge from? Lufa, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's when they are older and... Hard, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, lufa. For example, that if I eat that, I get sick. Okay, sick with a digestive problem. I never had that before, because before I didn't have enough disciple. <laughs> now I already take in a lot, so every little thing affect me. 
。OK， 扫厨房听懂嗨？我送东西很多回来，不是你们煮不好，了解了？我不想讲，因为怕把你们不煮给大家吃。I don't dare say anything. I just say a couple of examples for you to know. So if I send back to the kitchen some fruit, something I don't eat, uh, it's not only because I eat too much already, I, I ate enough, but because something are not agreeable to my spiritual body. Okay? Yeah. I use everything I have spiritually to help you. So I don't save enough for myself. I rather forsake, forego the food or the fruit instead, and I save that. Even every little bit help everyone else. Understand? Just like if I don't spend this one one dollar, I keep saving it. I have ten dollars, and maybe I can give a boy outside when he hungry. He can eat something. Just uh, immediately fill himself up with the food and energy, and then maybe next. Day he has better luck, you see, and then he can take care of himself.